Ye says, I see good things about Hitler on Conspiracy Theorist Alex Jones Show. Oh, why? Uh, why? 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 I mean, it, it's indefensible what he said. Uh, but let's read a little bit. Half drum, half a drum salute, exactly. In an appearance on the conspiracy theorist Alex Jones show, Ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye West, doubled down on a series of anti-Semitic comments he's made in the recent months. Ye appeared on the show alongside with Nick Fuentes, the white nationalist internet personality. The pair had dinner with former President Donald Trump last week. They're going to keep saying that shit. They're going to keep saying Donald Trump this and they had dinner. Oh, I don't care. Honestly, let let them have dinner with fucking all of the assholes. Who, who gives a shit? Um, on, hours later, CEO Elon Musk announced that Ye's Twitter account has been suspended. Yes, that's right, friends. He... <sighs> So he he's talking about uh, and you know like it, it's 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 weird. Let me just show you guys this bullshit. This is this is this is the reason part of the reason why he got fucking out, offed uh, on uh, uh, off of Twitter. And this is actually a text from Elon Musk. To, I'm guessing to to Ye. He said sorry. He apologized. Well, I don't know why he would apologize. But you've gone too far. This is not love. And I don't know what to fucking make of that. Like, what what the fuck is that? So, anyone drive a Volkswagen? So, here's the thing, right? Here, Here's the thing about what Kanye was saying. And, and again, I'm not defending what Kanye was saying. I'm not trying to say anything uh, remotely uh, supporting what he's saying. Because I don't think that the Nazis were great. I think that Adolf Hitler was terrible. Um, but I, I do believe in free speech and I do believe that he fucking, he did this to himself and he's going to have to accept the consequences of what comes with this. Um, I honestly, uh, kudos to Alex Jones for, for allowing us to see who he really is. And, um, I, again, I, 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 I'm all about it. I'm all about him saying his shit, but if he gets silenced, fuck him. If, if he loses his billions of dollars, fuck him. If he loses what hundreds of millions of dollars he has left, fuck him, right? Because he made his decision, and this is what's happening. Um, we now know who he is. Um, Naders, I know exactly where you're going with this, buddy. Uh, the the fact Jones sounded like a reasonable one. Yes, exactly, Robbie. It was wild to see Alex sitting there just like, ah, I, I don't agree, but okay. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You know the world is going to hell when Alex Jones starts sounding sane. You know, you know when else he sounded sane? When he was standing outside the Capitol building on January 6th of 2021, yelling into a megaphone, don't do this. Stop. Don't go in there. It's a setup. Don't do this. He was the only voice of reason in a sea of madness. Alex fucking jo <sighs> Alex fucking Jones, folks. That's who's sounding like a reasonable human being here. Okay? Okay. Yeah. I mean, at what point do you call someone a Nazi? I feel like when someone says, I like Hitler, I, l I love Nazis, it's moved past sympathizer status. So, because I, I don't know if you guys watched the, the whole thing. I watched the whole thing today. Um, and um, I'm not defending it, but he's talking about he loves everybody because he's a, he lets God and radiate through him. And, and I think that's all bullshit. Really, I think he's just playing the heel. I think he's probably having an episode, a fucking mental breakdown, and he's just leaning all in. He's like doing the Scarface, right? Oh, I'm the bad guy. I'll be the fucking bad guy, right? You remember that? Remember that scene where Al Pacino stands up in the restaurant? He's like, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'm the fucking bad I think he's leaning into it. Um... Do I think that he 
that he uh, wants, you know, he supports genocide? No, but he also, he also denied that, he said the direct quote was 6 million. He said that Hitler did not kill 6 million Jews. And I, you know, I don't know what the numbers are. And maybe he's right, but I'm not saying that, I don't think he was denying the Holocaust, but maybe he was. I don't know. He Here's the problem. He fucking sounded like a lunatic. Did, do we have real numbers on that? Because, I mean, is, is that true? Like, oh, only. I wasn't going to say only, but <laughs> I was. Was it 6 billion? Was it 4 million? I mean, I don't think it matters. I think I think downplaying millions of people dying is, in, in any sense, is fucking just wrong. It's just fucking wrong. Um, I guess it's 6 million. But hard to know. Right. Because there was so much that went on. And you know what, man? Uh, my TikTok, uh, I'm suspended for a couple days because of the, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I, I posted on Instagram, which kudos to Instagram. They don't fucking censor you as much as fucking as TikTok does. TikTok is such a whore. Um, but it, it, it was scary how quick my video went wild. And it was scary how fast a bunch of people in the comments. I don't even know if we can look at the comment. I don't think we can even look at the comments. So many people were just like, the fucking Zionists are doing this to us. Go yay. You know, and it's like, you know, you see it in real time. And when I see it in the comments, you know, like it's a good barometer for me. It, it I can see why people call it harmful speech. Um but again, uh, it's good that we now know what the fuck's going on with this dude. It's good that we now know that, you know, this dude's off his fuck. He's out of his mind. He's fucking just out there fucking leaning into this being the bad guy thing. And it, it's fucking, it, it's not a good look. It's pretty gross, actually. It's pretty fucking gross. And I'm not impressed. Um, funny, even Trump was like, yay, what <laughs> crazy yeah he did he he posted that he's like you know he's a very troubled man and i get who is in need of my no what did he say he's a very troubled hold on let's get this right trump tweets oh no it wasn't tweets it was his truce um about yay meeting um uh, yeah republicans denounced trump meeting they denounce it, which, I mean, at this point, you would be dumb not to denounce it if you're a politician. Um, where, where's the image? Let's see the true socials. What is it? Um, okay, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, was asking me for advice concerning some of his difficulties, in particular having to do with his business. We also discussed, to a lesser extent, politics, where I told him he should definitely not run for president. Of course, why would he want fucking someone with an ego as big as his running against him, uh, who's not afraid to just say whatever the fuck comes puking out of their face? Um, where I told that he should definitely not run for president. Any voters you may uh, or you may have should vote for Trump. Anyway, he got along. We got along great. He expressed no anti-Semitism. I appreciate all the nice things he said uh, about me on Tucker Carlson. Of course he did. Why wouldn't I agree to me? Also, I didn't know Nick Fuentes. So it, it keeps going. Um, where is the one where he talks about um, yay meeting? Uh, crazy. Here we go. So I helped a seriously troubled man who just happens to be black. Like, why? What? What does that have to do with it? <laughs> What a weird thing to say. What a real thing. I really hate Trump. He makes, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm not a fan of Trump either. I'm not a fan of Trump either. Um, but, you know, when Ye was talking on Alex Jones, he's talking about that he was saying that not all Nazis are bad, right? Um, and he said there's good aspects to Hitler and to the Nazi regime. And I know that's a hard thing to, to put in one sentence. But I think Nader's was hitting on it. But all Americans love Biden. Yeah. Uh, but Biden is over here fucking just blatantly saying racist shit to fucking, to, to you know, telling the black people they ain't black if they don't vote for him. But, you know, it, it Nader's hit it on earlier, talking about the Volkswagen. Um I know it's hard to, to, to think and conceive of, 
but there were things that the Nazis were able to do that would be considered good, like the Autobahn. He didn't invent fucking highways. Like, like fucking Kanye was saying that that Hitler invented the microphone, which is completely false. The microphone was invented in like the 1800s, like well before Hitler was even born, I believe. And fuck it. So, so he's just, you know, he just reads shit and people tell him stuff and people are in his ear. IBM, Operation Paperclip. Okay, here's some good things that came out of the Nazi regime. Operation Paperclip put us on the moon. It also helped us develop rockets that murder people. Um, you know, if you guys don't know what Operation Paperclip is, pa- Operation Paperclip is after the war. Here, I'll just go ahead and pull this up so I'm not just talking out my ass here. Operation Paperclip. So... Uh, Operation Paperclip uh, was a secret United States intelligence program in which more than 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians were taken from their former Nazi Germany to the U.S. for government employment after the end of World War II. And we all know that America has its atrocities and we do horrible things. And we also take in Nazis. And, and that's how we got to the fucking moon was from Nazi technology. So to not say, not say Nazi. <laughs> so I, I get his point, even if it's skewed with fucking to- lots of terrible information. I get his point where he's saying that not all the things about these people were bad. Again, I'm not was by a far-left Democratic Socialist Party who was supposed to oppose the Nazis. Hitler just adopted the plan. Yeah, he no, he did not invent the highways. He just he adopted the plan and implemented it, and, and it's still used today. It's still something that they use today. Um, so, yes, yeah, I, I, I agree, Papa Sweet. It's, it's ridiculous to say that he invented that shit. He also did wonderful things for animals, like protecting animals, in the in the in Germany, so I know this is fucking not great. <laughs> it's not great to sit here and expound on how Nazis contributed to the world, but to say that they uh, that they didn't contribute something to the world, whether it was we never want to see that again, we never want that to happen again, never again, right? Um, to their scientist who we brought over here, who sent us to the fucking moon. Uh, what what else does it say? Uh, mm, the uh, capture and detention. Look at these fucking. I mean, it's just gross. Like we constantly work with our enemy to 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 put us forward. Um, let me go back and catch up on this stuff, guys. I I know fucking. I know I'm just sort of rambling here, and I'm ADHD already. Um. Let me see. Uh, I'm from Sweden. When we saw him go to dinner with Trump, we know bad things. And many here thought bad things about him from the beginning. I, I can sure. I, I'm sure. S- Sweden, I'm sure, man. Uh, he was diagnosed. Yep. Yep. Pepe, he was. He was definitely diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Um, he definitely has some kind of mental illness going on. There, there's just no denying it at this point that that dude is off his fucking rocker. He's going through a rough time. He fucking, he has an ego the size of fucking Jupiter. He, he, he's lost a lot because of his own behavior. And he's, uh, you know, he's just going anywhere that will let him speak and spew his shit. Again, I'm giving a round of applause for Alex Jones for allowing him to speak. Because there was, if not for my own personal uh, selfishness, because there was, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here week after week talking about this dude. And it's nice to know really where he stands. Again, I don't agree with what he said. Um... But I do see the wider scope of things, and I was able to sit there and watch this show, watch the 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 interview 
without, you know, being like, what the fuck? And letting emotions run rampant. I, I was upset about what he was saying. Obviously, it was an upsetting thing to see one of your, uh, you know, one of your fucking, one, one of your heroes just sort of like shit away their own destiny. Or this is his destiny. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, we, you know, we the, to, to sit here and say, oh, Volkswagen, again, going back to Nader's, uh, anyone who drives a Volkswagen, Volkswagen was also something that was put in place. What was the Beetle was the people's car in, in, in Nazi era. Um, Hitler helped push that forward. So, you know, also, <laughs> again, we'll, we'll also talk about it too. If you buy Hugo Boss, if you like Boss clothes, which I don't care about brand names, that's stupid to me. Uh, but if you buy, it, it, what's fucked up about Hugo Boss is that not only were they working with the Nazis and making Nazi fucking uniforms, but they, today they are, they buy cotton that are picked from literal slaves in China. So, like, these corporations have no moral compass, no moral standards. That's why this whole ESG thing is fucking ridiculous because you're having these companies enforce these uh, very uh, left or, or at least liberal ideologies, which I'm super liberal, by the way. I'm not saying... It, but But they are putting these weird caps on these companies like, you know, environmental uh, caps. Um, but yet they'll do business with, com with, with countries that, that don't care about the environment, that don't care about human rights, and they don't give a shit about anything. It, 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 it's, it's hypocrisy in the worst way, and it makes you wonder what's the true, co what, what's really happening here? Because you know you're not fucking bringing down the carbon footprint, right? Like ESG and these corporations are not bringing down carbon footprints it, because China has no regulations. They don't give a shit. They will steal our intellectual property. They don't give a shit. They have literal slaves, which let's not forget the prison system here in America. Literal slaves. <sighs> so, okay, let's get back into this. Uh, yeah, most of it. I guess it's 6 million, but hard to know, right? 13 million civilians and estimated 6 million Jews. Right, and there's no way of knowing how many people died because they were just fucking gassing them and burning them. No graves. There's nothing. So it, it's hard to even say. So for 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 Kanye to go on there and be like, hey, there, none of it happened. And well, he said 6 million people didn't die, which we don't even know if that's the right number. It could be way more. It could be less as well. It's just hard to say. Uh, massive amounts of evidence for the general number. It could be off by a bit, but there's no difference on what would change anything as far as morality of the situation. Yeah, no problem. How many views did it get before it, they took it down? Um, My video got, it was up to, I it, it was up for like two hours and it got up to like four. 5,000 views or something. Not a whole lot, but the comments, it was a very hot topic. And it was, I posted it while the live stream was happening with Alex Jones. So it was like, as soon as I saw it, because it, it trended immediately, immediately. It was, Alex Jones was saying that they got about 30 million people watching it at once. And it's going to cost them like hundreds of thousands of dollars for the bandwidth. But, you know, I, I I respect Alex Jones. I, I don't respect all the things he says, and I don't agree with it. Like, the whole Sandy Hook thing was terrible, right? And he's paying dearly $50 billion, which, phew, good luck getting that. Um, but I do... There is a place in my heart for Alex Jones because I've been listening to Alex Jones for a long time. I haven't listened to him in a while. But, I mean, during the pandemic, I started listening to him, of course, because... The thing is, he does get some things right, but he also gets a lot of shit wrong, just like a lot of people. Uh, why do we talk about Trump and Kanye? They shouldn't get any more public. Because, because Pepe, I think that it's a part of uh, which, you know, I'm not sure what it's like in Sweden. I'm not sure if there's parameters, which there's parameters here on our freedom of speech, right? Because liable laws. But I think it's important for us to hear from these people so we know how they think. 
so we know how to counter that because the 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 answer to to bad speech is is or hate speech is good speech. It, the answer to that is to shine a light on these vermin, right? Like so we know where they're at and we know how to fucking handle it. Um, you know, I I I think that if you're gonna be in a country like America, which is really violent, has a you know a really violent history. Has a, but but there's a, a rebellious spirit here, and um, I think that that is important, and I think that America has contributed just so much to the world that is positive that it still outweighs the negative aspects of what we're what we are and what we're becoming. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna. Be, I don't know if that will continue. I don't know if that'll continue, but I, I think that free speech is important. I think that we should hear from these people so we know exactly what to what to uh, avoid. Um, I really hate Trump. Uh, <laughs> the Autobahn, okay, I'm skipping around here. I tried to tell WSAG that we could just honestly skip talking about Kanye. It's not worth it anymore. I know it's what we do, but still, at some point, we have to stop giving him airtime. It's what he wants. Yeah, and again, I'm... Uh, I'm you know, I, to me, it's news and to me, it's worth talking about because I think it's important to, uh, you know, because my mind has been changed drastically over this last 24 hours. And I'm not going to sit here and keep defending this guy. I'm not going to sit here and keep, um, you know, trying to, trying to make sense of what's going on because I don't know what's going on. And, um, I, I, I didn't know what was going on, but now I do. Now I see what's going on. So yeah, I'm going to talk about it, and um, because it's important to this show that minds can be changed, and and mine was mine was changed as of you know as soon as I saw that shit, and I was like, what in the fuck? Uh, people gave Trump so much airtime; he ended up being president because of yeah, and he didn't have to spend a lot of money to do it either. Um. For the moment, you you in as U.S. don't have any good standing out politicians. Biden is okay; he can hold EU and China become. But I don't know how he rules it for Americans. If you got another president in the states, it could be dangerous here for U.S. here. Uh, it's not really correct, though. There are, were plenty of Germans that weren't bad. But it's hard to say that good things came out of the Nazi party. Even Operation Paperclip wasn't predicted on the Nazi regime or wasn't predicated on the Nazi regime. It was co-opting of talent of the American government, something that could have easily happened without the Nazi rise of power. Right. But is there but there's no going back and changing what happened. I I understand what you're saying. And I know it's a hard concept to think about, but there were uh, to 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 not say that because another thing that Kanye said was that not all Nazis were bad which you can argue all up and down it's the same thing that goes with like the all cops are bastards thing right um are all cops bastards um you know, on an individual level I don't think so I'm sure there were I mean and I don't mean to sound like a fucking uh, you know, conspiracy theorists, but there were Jews who had to sell out own, their own people in order to live. And so do we consider them Nazis? Do we consider George Soros, somebody who did, did indeed help round up his own people and pass as a Christian to survive? We, I mean, we can't blame him for doing that, right? He's just surviving. And so when you look at it from uh, somebody who was a part of the Nazi regime, just a soldier who was, you know, it's either do or die, and they had a family to think about, do we blame them on an individual level because they were trying to survive? Do we blame George Soros, who was rounding up his own people? Um, do we blame them because they're just trying to survive? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we blame all cops because they decided... They wanted to be a cop, and because of some people in the fucking police department are racist and are evil and are trying to be fucking terrible people, are all cops bastards? I mean, I don't know. Is it? It's a really gray area. 
I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, George Soros is a fucking piece of garbage for for trying to survive. I, you know, it's it, I think that's kind of wrong minded. People do anything. Um, it was amazing. Rare gift from Alan Jones. <laughs> yes, again, um, again. I I know it's hard to even think about, but Alan Jones. I'm fuck yeah, man. Show the light. And Alex Jones was disagreeing with him, and he was saying, look, man, I think Nazis are terrible. Fuck Hitler. He's like, fuck all that shit. I don't agree with you, Kanye West. Um, and, and But he is someone who is an absolutist on free speech, and um, he wanted to platform him. And here we, here we are. Here we are. Now a bunch of people are, 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 are turning going through TikTok this morning and going through, I mean, Twitter's always a shithole, but going through TikTok this morning, you're talking these, you know, people who were defending Kanye and who were, um, you know, trying to make sense of all the decisions he's been making in the past few months um, or try to at least understand them from someone that they respected. You have a lot of people who are like, hey, fuck this guy. I can't do this anymore. I can't deal with this anymore. I, I don't you know, there's no, <clears throat> there's no, um, there's no defending this man anymore. And so, you know, I'm on the same boat. It's like, fuck Kanye. It's <laughs> like, get some help, bro. Like, just get some help. Um, but again, some of the things he's saying weren't all horrible things. Like, you know, <sighs> I, I, I wonder if we should even watch any of the videos, um, but we probably will. This is kind of reminds me of the rise of Darth Vader. <laughs> it might be, but many follower follow this idiot in the U.S. and seeing him. Yeah, and and again, I'm 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 gonna go ahead and say like when I released that video, and I didn't even put any of the video on I I, I I I blanked out the words Hitler I try to make it as safe and 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 TikTok friendly as possible and still got taken down but the comments you're right uh Pepe that there are a bunch of people who are like yes finally somebody's saying what I'm thinking you know what I mean Ugh, finally someone's not afraid not to not afraid to stand up to the Jews you know like I'm like come on just shut the fuck up. And I was moderating the, the, the comments. I was like, bro, fuck you. I was deleting shit, but it didn't matter. They still took me down, and, which pisses me off. Like, I fucking really tried. Let me see. Oh. How do you pay to get the get it fixed? Well, I won't be on here until 7, that's for sure. I hate that the facts that life here in Sweden is depending on who is president in your country. Better, good, bad, and so on. Oil, food, import, export. Yo, I, get, I, I, I can't even begin to understand what it's like to be... Because we are an empire, right? The United States, even with like... You know, even our decision to blow up the... Allegedly blow up the Nord Stream pipeline wanted to that really fucked Germany over right now. Like we are either you're with us or you're against us. So the mentality kind of sucks a uh, lot. It really sucks. It really fucking sucks. And, and you know, we're, we're the world police, right? Like team America, world of police, that, that is what we've done. And, you know, I, I like the idea of us just staying to us. Like I like the like before what was it World War 1, we wanted to stay out of it and World War 2, we wanted to stay out of it. We didn't get involved in these wars until it we, you know, we had to, but there was people off, obviously pushing us that way because there's this the military industrial complex is at work here. There's lots of money to be made and that's what sucks right now about America is that we've been just sort of um inundated with just greedy corruption and i you know I, I i i hate to think that this is the death throes of of the american empire um but it does seem like that 
Uh, probably pretty safe to say that all Nazis were bad, but there were plenty of Germans that weren't Nazis and collaborators pretty, uh, pretty roundly criticized, whether it's Jews, blacks, people, Native uh, Americans, etc. It really did start a conversation, perfect example of good airing of bad ideas. And, and that's, it's exactly how I feel, Papa Sweet. I mean, we just, uh, it, it, the people who are going to think like this are going to think like this. Whether there's a Kanye West saying it in public or if there are, it, it, it's just human nature is, it, it, it thinks in tribes. And you get people who feel dejected. You get people who are, you know, you get incels who are just like fucking mad at the world because nobody wants to touch their dicks. And then they blame it on, somebody has to blame it on, you know, like there has to be some sort of blame. There has to be a bad guy. This is what we're conditioned to be, that there is an enemy out there. And whether or not these people are, are these these enemies actually exist, we are, uh, we have these enemies in our head. Whether it's Trump, whether it's Kanye West, whether it's Joe Biden, we, we are programmed to see the enemies. And... It's a survival instinct, really, right? It's a survival instinct left over from running from fucking saber-toothed tigers and, and, and not getting eaten by lions and shit. Um, uh, but USA want us in NATO and want our war technology. F, I can't spell. It's okay. Now, and, and you, the, the interesting thing about Sweden is that you guys are really fucking protected, aren't you? Like, you guys have, and you guys do have weapons, and you guys do have the capability of, of defending yourselves. Uh, I saw that mountain of turrets you guys have, right? Like, you guys got, like, a whole little mountain to, as cover, and there's turrets in there, and, and y'all remain neutral, um... But yeah, w America has made it a habit to make people dependent on on what we do in the world, and and that's fucked up. And that's I I really think that America should just stay to themselves. We have so much going on in our country. We have such a big country um, that we're trying to manage at scale, and and we're also dumping resources into these regime changes and. Um, you know, stealing oil and fucking maintaining this empire when the, really we should just be focusing on what we're doing and we have to trade. Uh, the world needs to trade, right? Like we have, people have resources, different countries have resources. It's a necessity, but to go off and have these corporate driven CIA backed regime changes is fucking is such an evil aspect of maintaining this empire and 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 it sucks man i i don't like it i never have i never have it, i've been fucking anti-war since i can even remember <laughs> like i have never been into war and we've just been in war ever since i can remember like i remember being a kid in kindergarten and the operation uh, uh desert storm the first one I remember being like first grade and wondering if bombs were going to drop and just being like, why do people kill each other for, for stupid things? And it's money. Uh, it's money and power. That's what they do it for. And that's another part of humanity that is just terrible. Maybe, maybe we do need to become one with machines. Maybe we do need to fucking get rid of these, uh, these human aspects that, that we're slaves to. Uh, we're, we're like dudes and we're slaves to our dicks, slaves to our egos. We're slaves to our, 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 our moods. If we get mad, <laughs> we're so mad right now. I'm going to go and fucking shoot somebody, you know, like, or I'm going to go stab somebody or, or something terrible like that. But do you have ninja missiles in <laughs> is the question? Where is it? I don't have ninja missiles, but I'm sure somebody does. One skill submarine uh, went under your big defense and killed all. Yeah, it's on YouTube. But to be honest, we must stop all wars. We are close, really, really close. And and I agree with that, Pepe. Absolutely, war needs to. I I I don't think that it will stop. Um, until the until AI really takes over. Uh, but you know, moving judgment, happy birthday, Amaranth. Oh, sorry. Wrong channel. Busted. <laughs> Is it Amaranth's birthday? Happy birthday, Amaranth. Good on her. 
bringing joy to, to the people all over the world. Welcome in, Moving Dutchman. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, the Flying Ginsu. We're, we're just talking, you know, we're just talking about Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and what sucks is that you know our American maintaining American empire they don't give a fuck about democracy or anything We're, we only give a fuck about aligning the pockets of these corrupt politicians who are lining the po pockets of their corporate overlords which is so obvious so fucking obvious right now and and fucking Germany has to take the a, a huge hit because we decided that they can't who and where they can get their energy from. And so now people are in the streets. People are fucking mad. And I can see how people could be mad at us for our fuckery. So, um, I see the title in my recommended channels. It's, listen, Moving Dutchman, you, you, you can watch and love uh, and, and celebrate any streamer. Any streamer, and, and, and that includes Amaranth, who I celebrate so much. Fucking Amaranth is a G. She is a G. Like, fucking good-hearted, big-bootied, beautiful woman. I just... Can we get a round of applause for Amaranth? Come on. What? Yes, they do. Germany has a small <laughs> Thank you, Reina. Thank you for those rounds of applause. Uh, it's a real thing, man. We used to kill a, a, a t Taliban. We used it. It's six-bladed, non-explosive -explos assassination missile fired by a drone to minim minimalist civilian casualties. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a real thing. We used it to kill Taliban leader recently. Uh, yeah. Um, I was hearing some of the stats the other day where... You know, under the Obama administration, we killed, he killed more brown people. And what was it? A 90, it, it was a 10% kill rate, or what was it? It was a 90% um, casualties of war rate on what, under the Obama administration, 90% of the targets were civilians and 10% were actual targets that got killed by these drone strikes. So when you see Obama fucking on Netflix or having fucking, uh, you know, having a stupid fucking podcast with Bruce Springsteen, just know that that man killed more innocent brown people than ever before him, even more than the fucking neocon Warhawk fucking... Uh, George Bush Jr. So, uh, China has the answer always. <laughs> yes, they do. Just fucking lock people down. Uh, have fucking have have uh, drones going around telling people to chill. I, San Francisco just released a murder bot onto the streets. I don't know if you guys seen this. A uh, killer robot. <laughs> Allow oh, wow. killer robots. Look at this is the BBC right here. The BBC two days ago. This is where we're at, folks. We're Black Mirror. It's Black Mirror. Social credit score is coming. Fucking current central current central currency digital central digital currency coming soon. They're going to be able to shut off your money. They're already trying this shit out. They already did it to the protesters in Canada. They're doing it to fucking... They did it to Kanye West. Let's not forget that they fucking froze his accounts for saying shit. And look, I'm all about Kanye saying what he say, wants to say. But fuck him and fuck, and, and fuck the boat he came in on because that shit's fucked up. I'll, I'll let Tommy do the talking... Daters, I'm not fucking, I'm, I'm this close. I'm right behind you, bro. I am right behind you. I am pricing shit out as we, sp not as we speak, but I am, I am just trying to, uh, I'm just gonna fucking, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I have a buddy whose job it is to be escorted into war zone by a fire team where he guides small stealth drones into enemy positions where they drop grenades. Jesus Christ. Uh, son some fuck drone gonna scam my fucking credit card. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true, too. Well, use it fast and buy a sub here. <laughs> there you go, Pepe. 
<laughs> get it going. I may be I may sound negative, but we might gonna go in World War Three next. Um, it, that's very possible. It's very possible, Pepe. It's very very possible that uh, that's what's happening. Look at this fucking murder bot. This is what they've unleashed into fucking San Francisco. San Francisco ruling board to supervise. It was unanimous. The measure permits police to deploy robots equipped with explosives of any, in extreme circumstances. The so. I get it, right? I get that. Why send in humans to go do something a robot can do? <laughs> Moving Dutchman. <laughs> Fuck it. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, before I do. Too late. Well, Moving Dutchman, thank you very much, buddy. I, You know I love you. And uh, hold on. I'm going get, to get this baby. Get Hello, this going Moving from Dutchman. Our, for our baby boy here. This is Gandalf. Thank you for all that you do for this channel and Always remember, a moving Dutchman is never late, nor early, but arrives precisely when he means to. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right, moving Dutchman. Uh, Dr. Catherine Connolly from the group Stop Killer Robots <laughs> said the move was a slippery slope that could distance humans from killing. Right, and I see where they're getting from. It's why we send in drones to kill people, kill innocent people. Um, we, we send in bots so we don't have to kill our own people, right? So they don't have to get their own cops murdered. Uh, the city's police, the S SFPD, told the BBC they do not currently operate any robots equipped with lethal force. What? what? I thought that that's not what they said. They said, though, that there may be f future scenarios with, in which lethal force could be used by a robot. A spokesperson for the police said robots could potentially be equipped with explosive charges to breach fortified structures containing violent, armed, or dangerous subjects. Uh, they also said robots could be used to encapsulate... Wait a second. No, what does that say? Encapsitate? Encapacitate? What does that mean? Am I just reading it like an idiot? I feel like I'm just an idiot. Uh, prevent the functioning in normal. Papa Sweet, thank you so much for that. That. Oh, my mouse died. I don't know what's going on with this shit. It just goes off and on. Papa Sweet, thank you so much, buddy. Big Papa! Hold on. Big Papa! Oh wait, hold on. We got we got a woo for Big Papa here. There you go. That's for you, Big Papa. Love you, baby. Um, 171. In you still have. Capacity. Yeah, I got time. Incapacitate. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> it means this. Yes. Okay. Oh wow. Incapacitate. See, I knew I was just an idiot. <laughs> Incapacitate or disorient violent, armed, or dangerous suspects uh, who pose a risk of loss. Good song title. To stop it dead in its tracks. Papa don't. Papa don't preach. <laughs> that is good. Hey, Madonna's a shit. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I doubt it. I doubt it. Gotta love it when your son is better at English. Look, my son reads books. So, whatever. I listen to books. I don't read books. I listen to books. Who has time to read? I got time to listen, not time to read. Um, that just made me sound so fucking stupid. <laughs> I think Kanye West admitted that he had never, he's never read a book or something in his life. Is that true? Is is I think that's true. Kanye has never read a book. Kanye, okay. Uh, according to HuffPost, Ye said reading is like eating Brussels sprouts for me. <laughs> and talking is like getting the Giorgio Baldi corn ravioli. <sighs> yes, indeed, Pepe. Yes, indeed. We speak English real good. I mean, yeah, okay. Anyways. Oh, I did want to bring this up, though, you guys. Um, uh, hold on. Let me let me change over here real quick. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Our candlelight vigil. Um, 
I do want to say this, though. <laughs> um, Kanye West's ex-girlfriend commented on one of my posts. And this is the post. This is Julia Fox. She commented on Grimes uh, flamed Elon on my TikTok. So basically, me and Ye are, are, we're basically one step away from fucking, right? Because he fucked Julia and she commented on my TikTok. So basically, Kanye, I'm Kanye's cum dumpster. I'm basically pregnant with Kanye's baby, okay? I'm basically carrying, no, Kim Kardashian, no, uh, I need to cook that dumb motherfucker some good good Brussels sprouts. Maybe that will fix his whole thing. No, not Kim Kardashian. Uh, Julia Fox is his ex-girlfriend. And she commented on my TikTok. So, you know, we're basically, me and me and Kanye are basically like, like Drake and 21 Savage. Kanye, can you do something for me? Can you talk to the ops for me? I don't know how that goes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding. Fuck Kanye West. Uh, uh, anyways, so I guess we'll, I guess this, I guess it's fine. Um, so let's kind of go into some of the video um, and maybe we'll find something here. I have a few good ideas. I have ideas that surpass the idea. So here's, of just here's what's fucked up, right? All this Balenciaga shit. This is a Balenciaga mask. So I don't know. He was talking out about Balenciaga the other day, but it, it just, it, he's wearing the mask. See, it's like change subject. F that F Kanye. You want, you want to talk about something else other than Kanye? Well, guess what? Just being a black face for the Trump administration, just being Elon's cool friend at a concert. I actually have real ideas. There, there is. I just. There's I a couple things I wanted ideas, to bring and I up. Marginalized. And I. And it's only to show that I think this dude's fucking out of his fucking mind. By the way, what the fuck is up with the hood? It, it's just his thing. I don't know. This is info wars, right? So you got some info warriors. Just and reasonable demand of refrigeration. And so my issue was growing up. My grandfather told me have in common. To a Gentile. All that and demonized. Well. Issues. So I'm not steering us away from that. I'm just saying laying out something beyond even what Hitler on. said, but reversing it onto white people. And we're supposed to sit there and accept it. And then Ye comes out and says, hey, you know, I see kind of a mafia running things and then he's the devil. No, that's bullshit. Sorry. All right, we're going to curse a little bit less. Look, on he said he's, a, he's against <laughs> cursing, but not <laughs> hate speech. Stop. And the reason I, I, I wanted Nick, people have heard from Nick. Hold on, guys. He, people haven't heard from Nick. We, we'll we'll get off this here in a minute. Right I'm next just, to him. you know, it's like that's the thing. There that is something I want to kind of pull control, up. The 300. Um, OK, so control of the media. This is this is um. This is one of the biggest things to me that stands out to that Kanye has lost his fucking mind. And he's trying to be funny here, but it's also real cringy. I, that's why I want you to be here and be able to say whatever you want. I'm quite the historian from a lot of multifaceted yeah. views. I don't understand how you guys have having problems still with black and white. Um, how many black people are in Sweden, I wonder? And is Sweden a pretty homogenous country i'm just wondering because i know a lot of those european countries uh those white european countries are uh pretty white and you know it's uh it's it's uh it, i i don't expect people from places like you know uh, in europe to understand i guess uh many different cultures okay so I don't know. We have a lot of people here and we have a lot of um, of different ideas. We have a weird history. Um, so, yeah, there's still a problem. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's fucking stupid as shit that we still have these problems between uh, black and white issues. But I, I can understand. Um, I can understand how some people don't understand that about us. That's all. We are 10 million people, maybe 4 million from other countries. 
I, do you guys have any problem with uh, immigration? Do you guys are, are you guys having problems with like immigration, like uh, people being mad at immigrants? Let's see. Percentage of inhabitants with foreign backgrounds have risen to 25%. And is there resentment? I'm wondering. Is there resentment towards immigration? Wasn't there something about Muslims not being very welcome? We had a problem we can't take care of all. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Uh, I know there's a lot of European countries that were having problems with like uh, outsiders coming in. Um, and different cultures coming in and not in clashing with cultures. Like in France, um, there's a lot of, you know, refugees from Syria that came in and, um, or, or just is, is, is Muslim refugees that came in and they are a very different culture from very liberal France. And now there's neighborhoods where women can't go to because of a different culture. It's like this whole thing in Qatar, how like all these people are mad at Qatar because they they don't like homosexuality and they want to like impress the impress upon them their ideology of of you have to accept this, um, which I, I'm, I'm all about acceptance and tolerance. That's that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. You know, what I mean, I, I'm totally fine with whatever you want to do. You want to be trans, you want to be trans, you want to be transracial, you want to do all that stuff. Do you, baby? Do you? I don't give a fuck. That has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, Sweden isn't immune to bigotry. Yeah, that, that that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Sweden isn't immune to bigotry. Yeah, I don't think we're the only ones that have problems. Um, probably European countries more mixed than everywhere else, except, uh, maybe the old East Europe country. Yeah. And, and, you know, we got those Eastern European countries that, you know, have some weird stuff going on in there too. Right. Uh, like, I don't know what in Ukraine, right. Some weird stuff that went on in Ukraine before everyone started sucking Zelensky's dick. Right. Huh? I mean, a little Nazi problem in Ukraine. Now we're, uh, now we celebrate them. <laughs> I don't understand how people don't want to admit that there, there's Nazis in the Ukraine. I don't understand why people before 2014 or during 2000 uh, used to call Ukraine the most corrupt country in the fucking world. Or one of them. Human trafficking, drugs, Nazis. <laughs> but now they're fucking pure. They're pure. They're pure over there, y'all. They're pure. Uh, Sweden is generous with people who wants to come here. Segregations, that's the problem we have here, like the hood. Yeah, and that's that's racism, bro. <laughs> that's a form of racism is segregation, is keeping people uh, se segregated to their own place. Let's a great example of that is South Chicago. It's like been a terrible place to live for like what a hundred years or something it's just always been shitty and they're always underfunded and the schools are always falling apart and there's a reason for that so it's not just us we all have problems all of our countries we're tribal we're humans are tribal as fuck and we're always trying to move past that some of us some of us not so much um so, yeah, I think we all have problems with outsiders, whether it's black or white or brown and white or brown and darker brown or, or brown and light or black and lighter black. Like, it goes deep. It goes deep. We're tribal as fuck. Um, as a whole, yes, over Swedish person, I know, to be fair, it's only like five to six are happy with refugees there. Hmm, I didn't know that. Hunter Biden never messed with the Ukraine. <laughs> Listen, Hunter, Hunter Biden, the whole Biden situation, it's fucking gross. I don't know how people think Biden is better than Trump, only because Biden can barely speak a sentence and he's not on Twitter all day fucking saying stupid shit. But that's the thing. That was what was great about Trump is like, at least you knew where he stood because he, that's where he was like, that's, that's, 
that's what he is, right? He's a fucking he's a loud mouth blowhard egomaniac so we know where he's what he's thinking even if we shouldn't know what he's thinking we know what he's thinking with with biden and and the fucking and the the regime we got in here the corrupt regime we got in here it's fucking they're trying to do it under the shadows and the problem is the internet is exposing them I mean, the prime example is this insider trading that's going on with Nancy Pelosi. Like, people follow Nancy Pelosi's trades because she fucking, uh, she is, uh, she's just a wizard, right? She's just a wizard at the stock market. She makes uh, $250,000 a year, but is worth $250 million somehow, some way. What the fuck? Uh, uh, there are Nazis everywhere. It's like a virus. I agree. I agree, Moving Dutchman. Absolutely. It's not just Europe. They spread everywhere. Did you guys see the APEC thing? The APEC? Uh, I posted something. <laughs> it's not It's not the greatest. And I had a Jewish friend chime in. Like, you really think that it's all... I'm just like, yeah, kind of. Um, let me see. We're... Profile. Twenty one. Can you do something for me? Did they get taken down? Oh, here we go. So this was the APEC. This is their new fucking um and Klaus Schwab's dad, by the way, was fucking it, it was a part of the Nazi regime. Uh, but look at this. Apex new fucking their new symbol. This is their this is their logo this year. I don't know. I mean, what do you what are we supposed to think about that? Is this supposed to be like the Indian representation of of peace and tranquility or is this something else? I don't know. I don't know. Is APEC good? I don't know. Is the WEF good? It seems like they really want a lot of control over everybody. Um, in Europe, we count Biden to get, uh, in NATO. If Trump is president, we want smaller NATO. Hmm. Well, I can see that. I mean, he's a live wire that Trump, uh, just that Russia was friends with the Nazis in World War II, Adolf, uh, until Adolf tried to invade. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then Russia came through hard, right? They fucking pushed back, son. There's there's so much that and it kind of goes back to what Ye's saying about there's good in everybody there's a good aspects to everybody even even fucking terrible hitler who loved animals doesn't mean that we should forget about the fucking 13 million people that were murdered because of this fucking horrible human being but he loved animals and he fucking and he did pass legislation to make it so animals were protected i love animals I don't want them around me all the time, but they're just other creatures that we're sharing this earth with. And they don't deserve to be, you know, assaulted or, or beaten, you know, or, or abused. And, uh, and that's good. So, you know, the Russians are a fucking mighty people, man. They 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 come together in times of, of, of war and, and they fucking push those bastards back. They push the Nazis back real hard. But in the first place, I want to come to this. We don't have black and white like you have in the U.S. Even we, we oh, with the mixed culture, that's a big difference. Yeah, and I agree. I agree. It, it's just a different situation, man. And I, I, I can understand why people from the outside don't get it. I really do. And Mighty Mighty, what's up? Mighty Mighty. Hey. Okay. I do want to get past this Kanye West stuff and get into another subject. So let's uh, let's wrap up with Kanye. Um, and I kind of wanted to show this video just so you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing. And he's very, he's just off the fucking, he's just Hello, off Mighty the map. Mighty. Hello, this Mighty Mighty. This is Jean-Claude Van Damme. And I want to give you a huge thank you, a big old splits, and the <laughs> as a thank you for all that you do for this channel. I denounce Kanye West. <laughs> I denounce Kanye West, y'all. Will I still listen to his music? Maybe, probably. <laughs> I, I mean, that's where he shines best as a musician, right? 
he shines best as a musician, not as a public speaker. <laughs> that dude, that dude's half fucking illiterate. As much of a genius that I do think he is, he is a fucking illiterate son of a bitch. And he's just, he's just, he, he's silly. He's a silly human being who um, just is just sucking ass right now. But uh, let's just, let's just. So at a certain point, I'm going to give my nuanced views of this because there are power structures and there are mafias and there are cliques and there are groups. And there is certainly. Uh, and by the way, Alex is trying to tiptoe around it but he is saying that yes there are clusters of people who are black who have uh who do crime there are clusters of italians who do crime and there are clusters of jewish folks who do crimes and bad things it's every we're tribal right and that's what he's saying. But it's not the whole Jewish fucking... It's not the all the Jews. It's not all the Jews out there conspiring against Kanye West. There are some Jewish people and there are some people who are collaborating against him who happen to be Jewish. You're right. Robbie, you're right. The Jews are perfect. <laughs> the Jews... <laughs> <laughs> Robbie coming in with the save. Uh, I still listen to Michael Jackson. I'm pretty sure the dude diddled some kid. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a... R. Kelly is a weird one. I mean, here's the thing. Michael Jackson has never been convicted in a court of law, although he has paid people off, um, which he regrets, by the way. He has, he does regret paying off people, and maybe it should have went through the court process. R. Kelly, on the other hand... I don't want to give another fucking one hundredth of a fucking millionth of a cent of a stream for that fuck face. I don't want to give him any of my money because anytime you stream his music, you are paying him. So I, I don't do that. Now, will I dance in the name of love? Will I step in the name of love at a wedding if it comes up? I'll probably step in the name of love. But I'm not going to go out and play his music. And fucking, cause fuck him. Let him rot in prison. Um, even though "Step in the Name of Love" is a dope song. Step in the name of love. Um, how uh, right, I get it. In all fairness, I feel super bad for him. Regardless, that guy had an insane life. Uh, yeah, he did. He, I mean, who knows what he did? Reyna, you can you can save it with that. I'm going to head to another stream. I like this talking. Are you streaming in the, on the weekend? Mm, possibly. Not Saturday. Maybe Sunday with Saucy. But Pepe, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate your input. Sorry we stayed on Kanye for an hour and a half. But uh, we're almost done. If you want to stop back in, we'll, we'll be going for another little while here. So if you if you want to come back in. Well, did regret. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do your thing, baby. Do your thing. But, uh, yeah, so this is just a little bit of wildness, and, and then we'll finish up with some of the backlash that he's getting, um, and then uh, we'll move on to our next story because, eh, you know, this is a bummer. At the end of the day, this is a bummer to me because he is a, he, he, he was a very, uh, especially as a producer, yeah, no, now we're not doing four hours of Kanye. As a producer, I'm a producer. I'm a music producer. So you got to understand that Kanye was someone who blew the fucking doors down when it comes to production. He's transcended the genre. He's done so many amazing things for music and hip hop. Um, so it it's really is like just a f fucking fallen hero for me. So it, it, this sucks. This sucks ass for me. And for everybody, I'm sure, who loves Kanye. Not for some. Some people are like, yes, Kanye's saying the things I've been thinking. <laughs> ah, the internet is a weird place. Um, I've been a little disconnected from the internet lately to focus on school. That's great, Papa Sweet. Stay disconnected, man. That's Jews that call everybody Nazis they don't agree with. You, you don't want open borders. You don't want your guns taken or you don't want to take a shot. The ADL had a meeting last two weeks ago and said, Alex Jones is an agent of evil. He should be taken off the air. He's the devil because he doesn't want you to take four shots. And I'm like, what are you doing calling me anti-Semitic? I'm not against groups. I don't get Watch into group this. politics. This is just Adam, insane. I've got, I've, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh, Alex. Yes, sir. Um, 
I've got the perfect answer for the ADL. They are going to have to listen up. What we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm in the twilight zone right now. Look at even Alex is like, what the fuck is even happening? Netanyahu, what do you have to say? Look what do this. you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. Look at Alex I is no just idea. like, Your I don't going to sound like that, Netanyahu. So you don't like. All right, Naders, but. That's how unhinged this motherfucker is. Like, he's not known as a funny dude. Like, I'm sorry, Kanye West is not known as a funny guy. And so to try to pass this off as comedy is bleh. Oh, good, this scene. It was nutters. Yeah, it's it's fucked up. Yeah, I know, I know. But it, it, it's really ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And, and it really does highlight how fucked up this guy is right now. Um, And there's one more thing. You know, the thing I was... I wanted to hear about is like why he's hanging out with Nick Fuentes and he they just say I'm not he's not white supremacist he's not white supremacist even though there's like video of Nick Fuentes all right Naders be well make sure that you, you munch that carpet baby um yeah you who netting you who <laughs> like he really had to stop somewhere and get this shit before he showed up like this he had to like really go out of his way before in Austin to go find some bullshit like this before he showed up to the, the studio. Um, it, there was another scene here that where he's they're talking about his platform. I'm starting with the Bible. He's ending with the Bible, and and that's what. But they did it to you, Alex, because you had a in in in, in yay world. What are you gonna do next, sir? I was still in the middle of it. Love I'm sorry. Me. Go ahead. I love you. Stop. Stop the abuse. Generation, they say, they, they say abuse goes three generations. Stop the trafficking. Instagram is sex trafficking. The, it, the, the language, I, I'm going I'm to screw your wife. I'm going to have a, all that is trafficking. Stop it. Stop, stop the drug usage. Stop, stop the killing. We put the guns down ourselves. We rise up and we show God how strong we are. It's, it's our disobedience to, to God that got us enslaved. God is on our side, but we have to be on God's side. We have to listen to our father. We have to. This is all he kept on saying was like, we got to listen to God. We got to listen to Jesus. And, and, you know, if you're religious and stuff, that's fine. But like he was saying the whole time, like he's trying, Alex is like, yo, what's the yay 2024 presidential run? What's your platform? Jesus. Jesus is your platform for running for president. This motherfucker will never be president. He will never be president. Watch, watch in two years. I'm going to be sitting here like, how did this fucking happen? <laughs> how did Kanye become president? Uh, I think he's sober right now, Papa Sweet. He says he's sober. Uh, he had someone go get it for him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He's rich enough for that shit, huh? It was someone's job. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He thought that was a great joke. Too. It's not even a good joke. It's just like it's so cringy. Um, nah, he burned too many bridges with Jews. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true bro. listen and to sit here and say that there's not jewish people in the banking system and there's not a bunch of jewish people in hollywood and it, it, that, that's false as well it, it's just that they're not this there's not this cabal of jewish people who are fucking like all of the jews are not out for kanye right anyway uh now nah, we own this shit <laughs> Listen, I didn't say that. Robbie said that. Robbie is of the chosen people, so I'm not gonna disagree or, or, or agree with that. I'm sorry, not disagree. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. No comment on that. I I don't think that's the case. And obviously, uh, Robbie is joking. Uh, but it, it's 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 not like that. You know, it's not like there's a, a bunch of Jewish people who are like, yes, now we will destroy Kanye, and now we will kill the Palestinians. Or, you know, like now we're gonna fuck it. Now we're gonna now we're gonna tell everybody that Joe Biden is the best. You know, it's not you know it, it's a bunch of people working in a bunch of different fields. It's not just Jewish people. Now there is uh, now to say that there isn't 
uh, collusion between our government and these news organizations and platforms. Now that's disingenuous. There's definitely, we are def, our government is definitely telling Facebook and, and at the time Twitter to, to, to kill the Hunter Biden story, the Hunter Biden laptop story. This is, this is documented. It, 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 there was a whole, was it Time Magazine did a whole article about how, yes, there was a conspiracy to get Trump out of our office and it involved social media, it involved the media. And it, it, it Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, he even admitted that he was told to not do shit. So it's coming directly from the government to these big tech firms, to these media outlets. Now that's a real fucking cabal and a real conspiracy that's not so much of a conspiracy, really. You want to talk about out, uh, outsized political power of religious groups? How about the invalid, invalid general, blah, 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 Christian? Yeah, that was a thing. Do you remember when the Mormons got fucking gay marriage overturned? Prop 8 in California? The fucking Mormons collaborated. Um, and it, fucking Christians right there. They're fucking... Argh. We don't fuck you. We want traditional and this is different. We don't like you when you do different. Um, anyways. So good. So you're not mad at him now. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm not mad at Ari. Well, uh, if it's not if it's not off record, tell us about the conversation. On the record, Ari Emanuel, if you need me and your wife to step into a private room and have me work on her clothing. Anyways, let, let's let's just let's just not. Um like talk about all you want about wall street ever fucking every fucking president has been christian the majority of the congress and the majority of the supreme court and newsflash fundamentalist christians aren't exactly allies to the jews well no because because that stupid ass ideology of well the jews killed our lord and saved jesus christ and it's get the fuck out of here first of all it was the romans <laughs> Who killed your Lord and Savior? Um, but, but but then they say, what is it? Then they say, well, it was the Jews who who told the Romans to do it. I I don't, I, I don't know if the Jews had that kind of sway in in Rome, and, but you know, in in Italy. But uh, you know, it, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. We're we we were literally killing people over fucking fairy tales. Jews didn't have that kind of sway back then. Thank you, Robbie. I didn't think they did. Uh, I think they were more enslaved than anything, right? Weren't, weren't the Jews enslaved at that time? I don't know. Ah, see, I'm terrible at all this. Um, anyways, so our last, our last topic on Kanye, and then we will move on. Yeah, so there you go. Robbie would know. I assume Robbie would know. <laughs> Money talks and Jewish people didn't have it back then. Yeah, exactly. And Rome didn't want some new guy coming up in there and, and getting people all worked up and trying to talk about freeing people and, you know, fucking doing all the stuff that uh, Jesus was in, 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 um, was trying to promote. Uh, you know, like rich people not getting into heaven. They, they didn't like that. <laughs> like giving away all your property and, and taking care of the poor and all those good things that came with it. <clears throat> um, uh, that is more a recent thing. Plus their support for Israel is protected on their end time beliefs. For anyone who didn't grow up in a fundamentalist church, the end game is that all the Jews are wiped out, but the Christians have to support them until then. Or God will be mad, at least those in Israel. <sighs> that fucking Kanye. Another thing he said that that Jesus is is the is the king of Israel, or is is the leader of Israel, or the true, the true king of Israel. Or he was saying some shit like that. It's like, oh fuck, dude. <sighs> um. Anyways, so this is the last thing that we'll go over for Kanye, and uh, we'll see how all this pans out. We'll see if we do any more stories about Kanye. Um, but uh, Kanye West accused of ruining Chris Paul's marriage after allegations that he slept with Kim Kardashian. Now, this is fucked up. Um, so he was banned from Twitter yesterday for saying all kinds of wild shit. He had Alex Jones on there typing out shit. 
Um, so Alex Jones is back on, was back on the platform for like a minute. <laughs> Jenny, what's going on, Jenny? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome in. It's, uh, it's sad you didn't see my Twitter DM or ignore it. Oh, Jenny, I'm sorry. I'm just everywhere all at once. So I'm so sorry. I did not ignore your Twitter. I did not ignore your DM. Um, but I am, I am Twitter, uh, I, this is my mode on Twitter. What's happening in the news and like music news. And then I post stuff and I rarely go through and like interact, which I should probably do better. Uh, I DM'd him and said, if you go live about this Kanye thing, let me know. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jenny. Well, we are at the end of the Kanye segment, but, uh, I'll give it to you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, uh, uh, overview. Um, fuck Kanye. <laughs> Um, I was applauding Alex Jones for giving him a platform so we could all see how fucking crazy and, uh, terrible he's become, um, and how just wrong-minded he's become. Uh, and, uh, I, 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 I appreciate the idea of free speech because we were able to see what kind of crazy person he was. Uh, but I also lost my hero, one of my heroes, cause I'm a producer, I'm a music producer and he's an amazing producer and, um, uh, I definitely looked up to him uh, when it comes to sampling, when it comes to the way he wasn't afraid to take chances. Like, like what was it? Heartbreaks and 808s was such such a leap from the last album, which was what, Graduation? It was Graduation, then Heartbreak and 808s. That was such a leap. It was like the leap for Kid A in Ra Radiohead, right? Like there was like Radiohead before Kid A and then Kid A happened. <laughs> right? And it transcended alternative rock. It transcended it. Uh, Kanye transcended hip hop and production. And um, it, everybody just went and did it. the same shit. Like immediately Drake and, and everybody just started jumping on this whole like minimalist, um, you know, have the 808s hitting in the background, you know, minimalist rap, just sort of, it, it just, he, fuck you, you stupid thing. In any case, so that's where we're at now, Jenny. Yeah, I tried to give you the 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 wrap up, but it would it didn't work out. I just ended up ADHD into another universe. Um, although Jenny, I do have to say, I was lurking in your stream today, so <laughs> I was working and, and getting some stuff done while listening to you. You just have such a calm stream, so it just makes me feel calm. Um, anyways, I was hoping he would move on to Elon, honestly. What about Elon? I appreciate you saying that. Oh, no worries, Jenny. Especially after the week. I know. I just, I'm sorry you're dealing with that apartment shit. That apartment shit sounds like it's awful. Elon banned Kanye from Twitter. Yeah, he did. And and th we're kind of going into this. Uh, so, uh, Elon, I, I don't know what... It, the best artists in history are typically either insane or complete bastards. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. I fucking man, I I read um, I read Miles Davis's book, and boy howdy, <laughs> don't read your heroes' books. Like Miles Davis is another one of those people who transcended music and jazz, and um, just completely flipped the whole genre on its head. And someone who I really respect. And another person that sort of informed me, uh, or another artist that informed me that you can just do whatever the fuck you want. You, you can just do stuff. <laughs> you don't have to stay to the program. You can just do things. Um, but God damn, he was awful human being. <laughs> he was such a prick. <laughs> such a prick. Uh, just terrible. Uh, but a genius. Uh, Pablo Picasso was a legitimate monster who one historian described as sucking the souls from his lovers who would then see themselves transmuted onto his paint. Oh, God. I think hearing your opinion on something music producer and drug related would be interesting. Let me message my friend first, though, because uh, it might not totally relevant to this specific topic. Naders, welcome back. How was the meeting? Um well, the thing about drugs and production, for me, it's never been a, um, being high on marijuana has always been pretty helpful for that. 
and taking mushrooms has been cool. Like I wrote the theme song to this podcast which you're okay. You don't have to make sense here. <laughs> sense is not required here. Uh, they work slower than me on 500 milligrams of edibles. <laughs> Listen, I look at drugs as a tool these days and not as recreation, although I do like to get fucked up sometimes. Uh, but I do look at it as more like tools. For me personally, marijuana is a great way to get tedious work done and it not drive me insane because of my ADHD. Sense-free zone, exactly. Uh, it's someone who says they can only produce when they take Benzo. Yeah, see, that sounds, that's a limitation. That sounds like a handicap to me. Nothing against the handicap, folks. But that sounds like a, a major, major weakness in your game. Like, that is a weak game. That is weak sauce right there. Because if you if you're if you're dependent on anything, there's going to be a time when you're not going to have that thing, and then there's going to be a time, depending on how far you get in this game, that you're going to need to get work done, and then you're going to sit there and psych yourself out. Like I'm in therapy, I see two different therapists, um, <laughs> and the one thing they're always saying is like, you know, don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up for failure. Like don't because you're out of your medication one day don't be like this day is going to be horrible because i don't have this so now you're almost allowing yourself to 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 for bad behavior or for uh un, you know negative behavior or negative self talk and, and in that same way as artists if you are dependent on something and you don't have it you're going to set yourself up for failure. You're going to be like, well, now I can't do this. Well, that's bullshit because you can do this. You just have programmed yourself to believe that you can't. And that's such a huge, huge setback uh, mentally and as a musician and artist. So to sit here and be like, I can't, I can't get my work done unless I have benzos, which God damn, that's a, <laughs> that's a hard, that's a wild way to go. Barbie, welcome in, friend. Good to see you. Um, I, I had a 500 milligram pre-roll joint. Got seven people drooling, and Nader's lived to tell the tale. I like to dance and sing when I'm on mushrooms. I feel much more rhythmically inclined on a lower dose. It can hold a beat much better. Yes, and, and here's the thing about it as well: is marijuana. And mushrooms, uh, they can uh, enhance the feeling. They can enhance your feel. They can enhance. Uh, you can be. You can feel like you're more in touch with the music. You can. You, you know. There's just different. It's just different vibrations that you're sort of uh, riding, and uh, 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 Again, it's it's a tool. It can be a tool. Now, it, would I sit here and be like, if I didn't have weed, I can't... Like, like for instance, I have to create two new songs because uh, my wife and I, we write songs for people, and I have to do two new songs, and I'm completely sober right now. I'm not smoking weed. I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm super straight edge. And, uh, oh, Naders, you got to go? Okay, Naders. Well, thank you for stopping by and saying hi and... <laughs> Thank you for stopping by and staying high, Naders. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, you definitely make sense. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm making sense because I completely lost track of what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> ADHD! Let's go! Let's go! But yeah. Uh, dependence on anything is just a bad thing. For me personally, it's just it, like uh, I caught myself getting dependent on coffee or caffeine. And so I had to stop it and I had a headache for a day and a half. But I caught myself like I was drinking Diet Cokes, which is so gross, but they were so good because I don't want to drink all the sugar and regular soda. But like, you know, it, like you, you feel like you're cheating, but really it's not great for you. So anyways... 
being sober, uh, you were talking about having to make some. Oh, yeah. So I have to make these Christian songs, which if you guys had listened to me at all today, I'm not a big Christian and not huge on it. You know, like, I don't care if you love Jesus. That's great. I don't think you should run your platform on Jesus, right? Like, th- like this weirdo was like, what's your platform 2024? Yay. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But again, I don't have a problem with Jesus, but there's supposed to be like separation of church and state, whatever. Uh, One nation under God, right? Um, Really separated there, bud. Uh, but I don't have a problem with Christianity. I have a problem with like the the shit that the, I have a problem with people who claim to be Christians who shit on people and and just call gay people you know f slurs and 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 treat people poorly because they think they're holier than thou. Um, that I, I the, the hip, hypocrisy of that is disgusts me. Uh, but that's not all Christians, and that's not all people. Um, it's just like not all the Jews are out to get Kanye and it's not all the Christians are out to hate gays. You know, it's some of them do though. Some of them are, there are some Jews out there that want to get rid of this guy. Uh, that is true, but not all the Jews, but maybe now, maybe now all the Jews want to get rid of Kanye. Uh, but again, it's a ridiculous thing to put everybody in one boat, but back to drugs and stuff. Uh, I, I definitely think that marijuana and mushrooms, and I stop at those two because chemicals, uh, acid is not great for me. Uh, I don't like cocaine. Heroin just fucks with my life. Um, those drugs seem to in, impede because of your dependence that, that, that grows with them. Marijuana, you can become very dependent on too, in which I was becoming, and that's why I had to step away because I realized that it was becoming a, 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 an issue for me. So I, I can't deal with that all the time. Um, a thing you were saying is most people have something to lose when they do it like their job or whatever. And I'm like, you're right about that. I see. The dependents could still have it. I, I, I agree, Jenny. It, it, that's exactly what it is. And thank you for putting it in such elegant, elo- eloquent terms, uh, which I do not do well. Um, I need to work on my alcohol consumption. I have developed a serious habit to deal with stress. Yeah, and that's hard too, right? Um, it, that was part of me smoking weed too, is dealing with stress and dealing with lots of work coming up, and which it got me through. It really did. It really did help. Marijuana really did help me get me through a lot of work that I needed to get done in a short period of time. And I was able to sort of just focus in and allow creativity to take hold and allow and not allow my uh, ego or allow my insecurities to to take hold. Be like, is this good enough? Is that good enough? Eventually, as an artist, you just have to trust yourself. And, uh, and, and I guess as a, as a human being, eventually you have to just start having trust in yourself that you're going to be able to handle stress, that you're going to be able to handle these tedious things that you have to do in your life that might be hard, uh, to overcome because of your ADHD. I am medicated. Uh, I guess I can't say I'm super sober. I'm medicated prescription wise, but we all know the fucking deal with that. Um, but I have ADHD medication that has changed my fucking life. So thank God for that. Uh, uh, but, but again, uh, becoming dependent, uh, on, on these, on these certain drugs that don't necessarily enhance your life. Although there is something to be said about being really high after work and like, and like sex and like eating, uh, but again, that turns into something else. You sort of lose touch. And alcohol, man. See, alcohol is one of the, you know, that was one of the things that Kanye was talking about in this interview with Alex Jones was like he was becoming dependent on alcohol. He was watching a lot of pornography and, uh, you know, having random sex with beautiful women, which sounds great, right? But like all, <laughs> which <laughs> doesn't sound that great. I mean, but it's, it's, it's something that he was losing control over and he was going out of his way to do. And it was getting in the way of thinking. It was getting in the way of production of, of, of purpose. 
And that's what happens. And like, right, even right now, I, I was just telling my wife that I need to like, I, I need to lay out pornography. And and he did make another point on that interview that, you know, I don't think Instagram is sex trafficking, but I definitely think that Instagram, because I mean, my Instagram is just big asses and, and like people playing guitar <laughs> and, and news, right? Like, and like music news and stuff. So it's like, we're constantly inundated with sex and sex, 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 sex. It's not good for dudes. It's not good for young dudes at all either. Uh, it's not good for these teenagers who are getting erectile dysfunction at fucking 15 because they're just sitting there fucking yanking it all day because you have access to any, any kind of kink, Anything you want for free is just fingertips away, which is great on one aspect, but it also fucks with it also fucks with you. And so, like right now, I, I I'm gonna probably try to probably try to take a cleanse off of the off of the off off of the pornography, <laughs> and um, you know, not sit there and constantly. It just it's it's tough being a dude sometimes. I, I know that sounds ridiculous. But like being being uh, being strung up and hung up by your wiener is like it's so it's silly and it's terrible and it's and I'm getting old I'm almost I'm middle aged like I thought this shit was gonna die off no it just persists onward and onward and onward and on it's just my dick is constantly just don't forget about me 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 me. <sighs> Um, you can whisper, yes, please do, Jenny. Um, feel free to whisper. I am here for whispers. Uh, well, it makes sense. My therapist said marijuana use with ADHD people is more self-medication. It, it really is. Oh, Jesus, look at that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I forgot that we're over here doing stuff. Um, anyways, yeah, feel free, uh, Jenny, if you want to whisper or something. Try to set yet another research. Uh, I need to work on, yeah. The, the alcohol for me is, uh, is, is just not my ally. Uh, and that's self-medication. And that's something that I wasn't able to figure out for a long time. Until my 30s. I wasn't able to understand that alcohol and drug abuse was just me um, you know, self-medicating from depression and ADHD and, and fucking... You know, just, yeah, I didn't realize that's what I was doing. And even when I quit doing drugs and alcohol, like, I didn't go get treatment, which I really wish I would have, but, you know, I did what I did. Um, I really wish that I would have had some sort of help and guide after that, but I had to sort of white knuckle it and, and uh, you know, uh figured it out for myself for a long time until I finally was like, I need to get some help. The internet is for porn, uh, prawn. The internet is for prawn, prawn, prawn. Listen, if it wasn't for pornography, we wouldn't have uh, Hulu or Netflix. I mean, it, it's that idea, right? That not That just because some things are bad doesn't mean that some things aren't good too. Doesn't mean that the, the horrible things that were done by the Nazi regime didn't mean that we didn't have some things that positive things that came out of it. I know that's a hard thing to do to think about, but two things can be true at once. And because of pornography, we have video streaming. Because of pornography, we have the ability to download pictures instantly. It, 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 it was pornography that allowed this to, to go forward. So, you know, there's the, there's no solutions. There's only trade-offs, which which uh, which the, the great Thomas Sowell has said in the past. And, yes, exactly, Morby. You love the Autobahn. We love the Autobahn. Uh, uh, again, don't listen to Kanye. Hitler did not invent... The, the highways, okay? You didn't invent a microphone. That's just silly speak, but we can see him now and we understand now that this dude is just horribly misinformed and has had, and because of his own personal experiences with certain people, he has decided to make it a generalized thing. 
yes, Hitler is despicable. Um, I wish he would have never existed. Uh, I wish those 13 million people didn't have to suffer at the hands of a fucking psychopath. But yes, you know, we have the Audubon. We have the Volkswagen Beetle. We have Hugo Boss, everybody. Oh, my God. Hugo Boss. My phone died for a second. Are we back on Nazis? <laughs> Papa Sweet. I'm not trying to go there, but it was because it was because pornography. It, it because pornography helped you know uh, facilitate streaming services. So like if it wasn't for pornography, it wouldn't be. Hey, Demogorgon. Oh, the Demogorgon. Now tell me, Demogorgon, do you like um, do you like uh, uh, what's the game called? Do you like Stranger Things or do you like the game that they sort of named the Demogorgon after, which is, what is that called? Would Nazis approve of porn? I don't think so because they definitely didn't like smoking. And if you don't like smoking, then you don't like pornography. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, is that it? Is that what it's called, Dungeons and Dragons? I'm just curious. Welcome in, Demogorgon. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, porn has been on the forefront of many technology technological innovations, right? Oh, and I I miss Jenny. Hold on, let's go back up here. I had a f I had a few year period when I went to college, and then like a year after, I drank and only drank to get drunk. Ooh, that's good times. Uh, I don't like to be buzzed, and then when I finally tried weed when I was twenty two, I basically haven't had <laughs> drink since. Yo, weed is great for that, man. It, it's it's awesome for that. Um, it's just, I, I'm super addictive personality. So I'm just like, if I'm doing something, I'm all in just like pornography, just like alcohol, just like drugs, just like Kanye West. <laughs> but when I did drink, it was terrible blacking out, having to be dragged around and stuff cause my legs stopped working and whatnot. Even apparently destroyed a relationship with my cousin who apparently I came and came on to her husband, but I sincerely dislike that man and so if it really happened then it, i was blacked out yeah that was my problem too jenny I, I black out every time now the last two times i drank which was of this last year once in seattle and the other at willie town i didn't end up blacking out but i could tell that my body was revving up because i remember having a moment thinking like man i never want to do this sober again like travel or do stuff I'm having these thoughts when I know that alcohol is not my friend. It's poison. It, it fucking fucked me up. Like, my connection to music is severed completely. I've tried drinking on stage, and I only ruin people's sets. I ruin my set. So alcohol is not my ally. And it doesn't sound like it's your ally either, Jenny. Um, the great thing about weed, for some people, it's their ally. It's their friend. They can do it forever, and it's fine. Although I do suggest to people who smoke weed all the time as you get older um, to consider eating it over smoking it because smoking definitely, uh, it definitely hurts your lungs. And, and, and as much as we love Tommy Chong, he did have lung cancer from smoking weed. So keep that in mind that just because it's natural doesn't mean that it is good to shove smoke down your lungs. It's just smoke doesn't go there. Um, I like both of them. Oh, awesome. Demogorgon. Uh, welcome in. I love Stranger Things. Um, that show is titties. Uh, but it, it's, um, I'm, um, my favorite scene of this last season was, uh, what's his name? Oh shit. I can't remember his name, but dude shred and master of puppets on top of the trailer and in, in the upside down. Oh my God. That shit was tight. Um, I got them, Jenny. Uh, thanks so much. I will definitely. Oh, you were you were whispering. <laughs> I see you were whispering, Papa. I got you. Yeah, Jenny is a resource of resources. Eddie Mudson, thank you, buddy. Yes, when Eddie was up there shredding, that was my favorite scene. Oh, and Metallica. We were just talking about Metallica. We were just shitting on Metallica, but you know what? Metallica is amazing. They're still amazing. I just I'm not that big of a fan of them as humans. Well, at least James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich. It's just, it's just the. Um, I love my Midwestern people, though. A whole side of my family is from the Midwest. Sweetest people in the country. I agree. I agree. I got you, fam. Thank you, Demogorgon. I appreciate that. I do need that. 
uh, hearing story, hearing your stories, I am maybe glad about it. Um, I have a photo that will make you laugh and decide alcohol isn't for you. So many kids learn who Metallica was. That it, yeah, and you know what? That's a good thing. That's a good thing because Metallica is amazing. Um, they they have some incredible music, and they definitely did take metal to the next level. <clears throat> so you know, good on them. They did turn into d bags, but hey, that's okay. The rock stars. If you're a rock star, more than half of your life, chances are you're going to end up being a d bag. It's just what happens. Uh, share it on WSG Discord. Uh, yeah, if you want to, Jenny, you're more than welcome to. Um, I know people's Discords are getting, their limits are getting full, so no worries if you don't want to. I get it. Uh, but yeah. But I would say, just to sort of wrap up the whole drugs and music thing, Jenny, is that drugs um, can be a tool, uh, but we can never rely on that um we can only rely on ourselves and i know that even though there's parts of mixing and mastering that i don't like um i know that i can do it uh, uh without it and i'm very confident in my abilities and um you know weed uh, another thing i like to use weed for uh when i am smoking or or partaking is um, is, 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 uh, perspective. It sort of shifts my perspective. So like I'll work on a song all day, maybe sober, and then I'll do like a rough mix, bounce it out. And then I'll listen to it and I'll smoke weed and listen to it. Uh, and it'll give me sort of a different perspective of the, of the music and it'll give me ideas and it'll give me like, you know, and, and I'll have a notepad and I'll be sitting there like, okay, I need to bring the kick up. Uh, let's put an echo on that guitar, you know, let's, let's, let's add some more reverb to the snare, you know, and I'll just make notes high as hell and really, uh, really listen to the song, uh, almost with a new set of ears. Cause you, it, it does sort of, it, it's just great for another perspective. So it, it's just a tool for me. And I would say for anybody else, if you're going to, if you do drugs and you like doing drugs with music, to use it as a tool, not as like, not as like the only way you can do it. Like, I can only do it like this. Anyways, so wrapping up this Kanye West mess, uh, Kanye West was accused of ruining Chris Paul's marriage after allegations he slept with Kim Kardashian. So, Kanye ended up getting kicked off of Twitter last night because of that awful thing he posted, which was, I'll show you guys again, for those who may have missed it. Oh, this is Julia Fox. This is Kanye's ex-girlfriend who commented on one of my TikToks. Um, oh, shit. I guess this shouldn't be up here like that. So he texted, he tweeted this, and Elon Musk was like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Um which I'm still not sure if Elon Musk is like the 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 savior of humanity or if he's Lex Luthor. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But um, I, I've been hearing a lot of stuff. They've been he's been getting called a transhumanist and stuff. And I've been listening to this one lady named uh, what's her name? She's very smart and she talks a lot about Epstein. Something Whitney Whitney Webb. Demogorgon, thank you for that follow. Oh, look at that. It gave me a little spiral. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Um, Let's see. My ex was like that. Had to smoke and then take uppers again and smoke himself down. So stupid. That's a problem. That's a problem. Um, they're Morby in the selfies. Um, I can only mix like this STFU. Uh oh, it looks like you guys are you guys are having like a whole party. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. So, anyways, back to this. So, part of his tweets last night was, uh, Yay tweeting out this, which is deleted now. I'm sure, but this is he deleted. 
Let me break this last window before I get out of here. Caught this guy with Kim. Good night. So this is Chris Brown, uh, not Chris Brown, Jesus Christ. Chris Paul, who is a basketball player for some team. I have no idea. I have no idea what, what team he plays for. I don't follow that shit. But uh, he, this was like one of his last tweets, and he basically is fucking up a marriage. Oh, for the Suns. Thank you. Robbie. Yes, our sports. And everybody go follow Robbie because Robbie is an awesome, he has an awesome sports podcast. And if you guys are a fan of the Washington, D.C. teams, then you're going to love Robbie's, uh, Robbie's coverage, but he also covers other stuff. Sports podcast here. What is it, Robbie? Is it RB? I did it. <clears throat> yes, yes, exactly. The di- Yes, yes, it is. Robbie programmed that himself because he's also uh, a genius. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. So this motherfucker, last thing he does on t- Twitter is, is, is fuck up someone's marriage, which, you know, if he's out there really doing that, that sucks. That sucks if, if dude is... Uh, CQ. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And everybody go follow Jenny because Jenny has a very relaxing stream. Um, she she does. She she operates a lot in mental health and uh, she really cares how you feel. And it's you can tell you can tell that she cares about her people. So go over there and give her some love, y'all. Um, with that being said, we should wonder why Kanye decided to level this accusation on Chris Paul. One must be also be curious how much of the truth there could be to this. After all, Chris Paul is reportedly happily married. These kinds of allegations have the potential to tear a family apart. It must be taken seriously. We need to take a closer look. So these two have been married for a really long time. So it would be really sad if, uh, if Ye was just making shit up because, you know... But that's what he's at. That's where he's at. He is, um, he's out there burning shit down right now. So, ugh. so there it is. So yeah, that's pretty much my gay stuff. You know, I, I, I don't know. Like the, it, it, it was really disappointing. Honestly, it was disappointing to see him in that way. Um, no way Elon Musk already changed the like button color. <laughs> um, let's see what they're saying about Ye before we move on. Uh, the the dude knew where Kanye West was headed back in 2018. Nobody listened. Yeah, there's no way of knowing that he was going to go this far. That guy's stupid. Highly recommend getting off the Kanye train before it inevitably reaches the Hitler. The Hitler was a good guy. St- oh, oh, I see. He was. <laughs> I see. Well, here's the thing. Kanye was also um, someone had reported that he had already said shit like that. So he has been thinking this for a while. Um, and again, not to defend him, but I see where he's coming from in a really warped sense of that there's good in everybody and there's good out of things you know there good is good can come out of bad people two things can be true at once and that's that is accurate but to sit here and glorify them and to sit here and deny six million people or however millions of people downplaying that is is not this is not a good look and i'm not really into it kind of really bummed me out uh Kanye West manager watching his interview every human being has something of value that they brought to the table every human that's nice right and look at him and now listen especially Hitler (laughs) especially Hitler especially Hitler especially Hitler especially Hitler especially Hitler okay okay we don't need that on repeat uh this this is funny actually the funniest possible thing that could happen right now is george bush jr saying kanye west doesn't care about black people on national television which i i I, um i agree that would be absolutely hilarious uh it's comical at this point how global leaders demand a new world order in front of a swastika but it's kanye west we are supposed to be worried about which yes apec we already went through that that is definitely a swastika looking thing Imagery matters, folks. Uh, it's not what Kanye West says that scares me. It's that he has 3 million followers. 
who listened to his insanity on top of a cheerleader in the form of the current owner of this platform, which Josh Gad, if you're not happy with it, piss off. That's what I say. No one who says I love Hitler should be allowed to any oxygen on any social platform. Now, that's that's up to the cells. But I understand that. I get that idea that if he's going to say this shit and you're on someone else's platform, then that's how it works. It, that's how it works. We, we can say it's censorship or whatever it is. It is censorship. But if that's not what they want on their platform, that's what they, they don't want that on their platform. And I, I, I used to think that was ridiculous, but I see it now. It's just when you have the government informing these companies who should be eliminated and who shouldn't. And that has happened. That happened. It was a huge thing during COVID. It's like, they would give a list to all the uh, social media companies like you needed to get rid of this person, this person, this person, this person. They're like, OK, that's different. That is the government s- stopping free speech. And that is illegal, I think. In any case, um, uh, he has too many followers. It's dangerous. Yeah. And, and, and so I understand why Elon would take him down. Uh, why why he's like you know what this has gone too far fuck off i get it now it it does make sense to me uh uh, there are other platforms for kanye to go and rant about how much he wants to suck off hitler like that's fine go to those platforms that allow it um that's just how it is 4chan is just just ready and willing for yay west to come through uh, I love Michael Malice's take on things. We all know, we all know that the plot line is heading toward Kanye West becoming president of Ukraine. <laughs> because there's Nazis in Ukraine. All right, there you are. Uh, stop blaming mental illness for Kanye West's anti-Semitic and racist rants. I have mental illness and know a lot of people who do, and not once has it caused anyone to cause bigotry. That's not true. I mean, he might not know anybody, but there are plenty of people who are mentally ill who are just ranting and raving about the Jews and 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 the, you know Enslers and all this stuff, and and they, it's almost like it's they can't even help themselves at some point. So you know, does him loving Hitler make him a necromancer? Isn't a necromancer someone who talks with the dead? Uh, new theory. Ye was sent by the devil to test us. Uh, Nazi symbols are totally illegal, like for fun purposes in Germany. So maybe it was more of a liability issue for Musk, Twitter than morals. I could see that too. I could see that too. I mean, look at what's going on in China right now, which is probably a CIA backed, uh, protest. Uh, probably. I mean, I don't, Or at least, I mean, America is not one to let a good tragedy go to waste. Um, There's a lot of protests happening all across the country in China. And um, Tim Cook of Apple, um, they did a media blackout and they were cutting off uh, internet access to the protesters or in these regions so people couldn't communicate because let's not forget that Twitter was part of the Arab Spring back in 2013 uh, that helped liberate um, some Arab countries, which was another CIA-backed regime change uh, <laughs> because, you know, Gaddafi was the only country that was out of debt and that wasn't on the whole um the whole dollar the dollar dollar bill yes naders you know it so tim cook of apple who refused to answer questions about it by the way he would not answer questions apple decided to remove the airdrop feature so that the protesters couldn't use airdrop to communicate uh to each other that's fucking evil that's fucking evil. And then he wants to sit here and talk about how he wants to deplatform Twitter off of the Apple Store. That is tyranny. Uh, and that is corporate driven tyranny right there, friends. Um, Tim Cook. I mean, I, I. Hi, Mr. Cook. Do you support the 
Chinese people's right to protest? Watch him. Do you regret restricting airdrop access that protesters used to evade surveillance from the Chinese government? Do you think it's problematic to do business with the Communist Chinese Party when they suppress human rights? Tim Cook wasn't having it. That was Apple CEO Tim Cook ignoring Fox Business's Hillary Vaughn's questions. And listen, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and shit on Fox News or CNN or anything. They they all suck in my in my opinion. They they're all just they're all just bootlicking to whoever whatever corporate master is paying their bills. So I'm not here to support any of these assholes, but those are legitimate questions. Those are legitimate questions. Also, why would he answer if that's not a scheduled? <laughs> Don't support him, Robbie. <laughs> why wouldn't he answer? Because these are the questions I'm wondering. Like, why would he do that? Why would why would Apple decide to do that? Now, I think liability. How Nor uh, Morby was saying it was probably a liability thing. China, we uh, we do a lot of business with China. Our phones are made in China by basically slave labor. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> and we're just out here talking about capitalism. Down with capitalism. Fuck capitalism. Eeeh. Now I'm going to tweet this on my sla slave made phone. Um, it. it it might be a conflict of interest. It probably just comes down to money, right? It probably just comes down to um, the Chinese government. It was like, listen, if you want your products to be sold or if you want us to make them here for, you know, pennies on the dollar, you're going to shut this shit off. Now, does Tim Cook want to admit that he is, he, he, he's bootlicking to the CCP? Does he want to admit that they got him by the balls? Does he want to admit that we are reliant on China for our products and for our medications and for, we couldn't even get cotton swabs, friends. We couldn't even get cotton. We couldn't even get masks, right, during the pandemic. So, it probably is a conflict of interest, Morby. You're probably right. It's probably just business. Because I don't think that if you make it to billions and billion, a billionaire, I don't think you have the same moral compass as, as people who've been out working their whole life and have, you know, you know, strong connections to their community and and have strong connections to the 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 work community, you know, the the manufacturing and everything that that communities are made of they don't they, they become disconnected in a way and um you know human life i i feel like to some of them just is not is non-existent they don't give a shit uh if world war three happened tomorrow who would apple back that's a good question naders who would apple back who knows um do you mean a necrophile yeah that's i think that's what she meant I wonder it too, but why would you ever answer something outside of an interview? Set yourself up to get ambushed more. I agree, Robbie. I know what you're saying. Um, and maybe one day he'll answer these questions, but I doubt it. And when will we have another person? Because here's the thing when it comes to interviews, and I've been in this position where like, we're not going to talk about this. This is not, this is off. Sorry. This is off the table. And if you bring it up, the conversation's over. So when else are we going to get an answer out of him? You know, a lot of people hate Project Veritas. They just they just uncovered uh, a, a, basically a trafficking through our southern border. Um, and you know whether or not you want to give them validity or not, they did expose the whole Epstein thing, where that uh, it all started with that newscaster who was saying. Um, you know, we had the whole story on Epstein before all this happened, but the story got killed. She had a hot mic and Project Veritas broadcasted that. And you can say that they're not a journalist, but I've learned a lot of interesting things about how these companies operate because of that. And that's what journalism is. It's the call out. It, it's to, to check power. That's what press is. It's to check power, not to be the mouthpiece of power. It's to check power.
Because if no one's checking power, then this shit just gets out of control. And look what's happening. Look look what's happening with this fucking clown right here. What's his name? Something Freed? This dude from... Uh, Joining us now in FT... This dude from, um, from uh, Sam Bankman Freed, right? This twat master here uh, just stole billions of dollars from people billions of dollars and people are writing about him in the new york times like he's the best fucking thing that ever happened since sliced bread like he's just an innocent kid who got caught up over his head it's like bitch this dude fucking just ruined people's lives and why is he still walking around why isn't he in a prison cell right next to bernie madoff and the assholes at enron is it because he was supplying Ukraine with funding? Was it because he was supplying the Democratic Party with a lot of funding? What was going on here? Why is this dude allowed to walk around the Bahamas and have sex parties and be high on methamphetamine all the time? What the fuck's going on with that? And then you have these, these fucking, the New York Times sitting there like, He's just a kid. He's just a little boy. He's just a little doopa 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 doopa. Fuck this guy. He's a thief. He is a criminal. And we have these companies, these 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 media organizations who are just mouthpiece for the people in control. Bon bon. And you guys hear that Coinbase is gonna drop Bitcoin because of lack of interest. No, it, Bitcoin is going to start become. they're going to start saying Bitcoin is racist. Watch. They're going to say that Bitcoin is homophobic, that <laughs> Bitcoin is, is racist and, and, and they hate the Jews. Bitcoin hates Jews. That's what, that, that's the next thing coming. Watch it. And then in comes the, the digital currency supplied by the Federal Reserve, who is not federal at all. It's a private banking institution. Uh, okay. Oh, because of romance. Never mind. Uh, ah, I see. Uh, uh, we should ask Tim if he if he acknowledged Thailand. <laughs> Uh, strangely enough, pretty much every mainstream news corporation has very good people and divisions within them, but their money comes from shitty side company. Fox News, for example, has an extremely good polling division. That's interesting. James O'Keefe got raided how many times from the government. Somehow he's still, someone has something to hide. Yes, it, it's when, it's the, what, what's the, what's the, the phrase? It's when uh, you really know who's in power by those you can't criticize. Is that how it goes? It's like, if you can't criticize these motherfuckers and they come down on you, that's pretty obvious that there's something going on there. Look, look at this. Look, I screwed up, guys. I screwed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Look at look at this doughy little fucking face. Fuck that guy. Um SBF changed up his look a bit. Should be in jail. Yes, indeed. Partially because cryptocurrency has not been regulated properly. So what he did was largely legal. Hmm. I could see, okay, thank you, Papa Sweet, for sort of clearing that up. Coming at you live from Montreal, Metro System. Hey, let's go! What? What? <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, did I tell you I got one of last FTX? <laughs> yes, that's so dope. Hell yeah, get it. Do as I say, not as I do. That does seem to be the whole thing, doesn't it? They sponsored hats at a basketball game I went to. The person who took over um, SBFs was the guy who... Uh, who came in after Enron, I think. I'm sure it was really nice stuff uh, paid for by the hard-earning, hard-working people and customers of FTX. I love how corrupt politicians want COVID and, and amnesty. <sighs> yeah, right? It's like, 
can we all just move on? Can't we just get over it? Um, oh God, don't even get me started with that, Nate. You know, you know, you know, you know what's coming, don't you? You know what's happening here. <laughs> 